Example 1. Find the value of the six trigonometric functions of the angle theta in each figure. Part A. We're given a right triangle, and we're given the two legs of the right triangle, but not the hypotenuse. So if we want to find the trig functions, we have to know all three sides. So we can use our Pythagorean theorem to solve for that third side. So if I want to call this side x, I can say 3 squared plus 4 squared equals x squared. So 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, so 9 and 16 give us 25 equals x squared. So then if we take the square root of both sides, we know x has to be 5. It can't be negative 5 because it's the length of a side. So this is 5. So now we know that our, our trig ratios, we can use the SOHCAHTOA to help us remember those sign, the, the ratios. So I'm going to first do sine of theta. So now, as it's written here with the theta here, 3 is the opposite side because the two sides of the angle theta open up to the opposite side, 3. So this is our opposite side. And then we know that this is the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle. And then our other side is our adjacent side. So now for sine, we want the ratio of the opposite to the hypotenuse. So the opposite is 3 and the hypotenuse is 5. I can quickly get the reciprocal of sine, which will give us cosecant. So cosecant of theta then would be the reciprocal of 3 fifths, which is 5 thirds. Okay, so going back to our, I'll write it out here, so, so ka, toa. So we got our sine, then we've got our cosine, C-A-H, so we've got cosine of theta is the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. So that's going to be 4 fifths. And we know the reciprocal of cosine is secant. So secant of theta is the reciprocal of 4 fifths, which is 5 fourths. And then finally, tangent theta, if we look at our SOHCAHTOA, our TOA here, opposite over adjacent, the OA, so in this case, that'll give me 3 fourths. And then the reciprocal of tangent is cotangent. So if I do the reciprocal of 3 fourths, that gives me 4 thirds. So here are my six trig functions. So if they give you two of the three sides, we're just going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the third side. And then you just have to know your trig ratios.